Hello ladies, gents, and bored hobos watching this on a stolen phone. We return to the challenge, the insurmountable mountain of getting one million dollars in the Spelunky HD daily challenge. It is August someday. We'll check at the end of the video what the hell the day is. I never know because the new daily challenge rolls around sometime in the afternoon for me so it's like i never know whether i'm today or tomorrow it is august 8th or august 7th and not like it matters it's all about the money smacked jack in the face just to assert my dominance it's very important that you establish who the boss immediately as you traverse these areas otherwise they get too damn uppity can't be allowing that to happen. Gotta put them in their place. There's no reason to go over to that side. So let's just get the hell out of here. Welcome to my last day as a free sleeping man. If you have listened to previous daily challenges, I mentioned something about that sleep apnea affecting me. It's all my wife's fault, is all I'm saying. Because she complained about it. If I had known about it, I would have never found out that I am literally struggling to breathe 50 times an hour. That's almost once a minute. It is truly severe sleep apnea. At some point, I want to say I held my breath, but it's not really holding your breath. It's you going like <laughs> until you, you pull in hard enough for it for the air to come in I think the number was 150 seconds which is over two minutes of not getting any oxygen strangely enough my oxygen saturation never actually dropped it is a little funky that way but anyway it dropped significantly it dropped a little bit so what I'm getting at is that I'm a, this is the last day. Today I go get myself at the doctor. One of those goofy ass son of a bitch. This spider may be my demise. It may be my undoing. Let's just uh, give it a white birth and attack a little bit. Oh, I want to do violence upon you, eight leg monster. <laughs> no, don't kill me! You scum lord at the end, it did do a little bit of damage there, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay, Mr. Shopkeeper, we meet again. Our prescribed interaction must come to pass. There is a 0% chance of me not murdering you in Spelunky HD. It is an obligation at this point. There's no way I'm going to use a rope to get out of here and go ghosting. Oh, I just gra grabbed some freaking climbing gloves. I grabbed some freaking climbing gloves, baby, so we're getting some ghosting done early. Maybe if I get that million dollars before the main threats in the game, I can get to the pile of money. Heh. I can get to the pile of money whenever, whenever liberated a gem over here. Before I die, it will be... Oh, he's going from this side. <laughs> that star will be all the crap out of me so being terrible i and i'm opening with this sleep apnea thing because it's terribly it has terribly weight in my mind terribly terribly weight in my mind i'm going to give you the conclusion so that all the things that i'm going to say don't sound like like wanny ass bitching the conclusion that i've reached after a full day of, of meditation and considering the entire situation is that stop taking yourself so damn seriously be glad that there is a clear-cut solution to this medical problem that you got diagnosed almost immediately then become a mystery like a certain someone that I, I know in my life who's got all these just mystery issues that she has to deal with and the doctors are just always puzzles like oh i don't know why you hurt here i don't know why you hurt there i don't know what your problem is you know what i am greedy but not so greedy 
Let's just take the shotgun. I need to give myself every chance I can possibly clutch. And that involves getting the shotgun instead of the ooh, pickaxe. A level full of spiders, huh? Upsetting, upsetting indeed. Let's uh, turn on some lights. But it triggered a mini crisis in me. It was like a, a combination of a whole bunch of factors. I feel like if I weren't so intellectually robust, it would have actually been a full-blown midlife crisis. It's like, man, I have to, like, literally, this is acquiring a lifelong debuff. The debuff was already there. You know, I, I have been unable to breathe. For quite a long time. Pretty sure that even as a teenager I had this problem. But now that it's di diagnosed. Well, now that it's diagnosed. And the solution is clear. Now I have to sleep with one of those goofy ass breathing masks. That I absolutely despise. The look of. Because... A great contributor to that impression is that I forget what sitcom it was, but I remember a sitcom where the entire punchline was, look how goofy this character is sleeping with this on. That was the entire punchline. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, it does look goofy. <laughs> you know, and now here I am, however many years later, being that guy. Just heartbreaking, absolutely atrocious. Wh wh who am I trying to, to fool? Come on, brother. You're not ghosting this, Sapphire. Just grab it. <laughs> you actually need to make it to the exit before the timer runs off. I was hoping to encounter the giant pile of spiders. We're progressing extremely slowly. I hate everything about this. I hate that I only have... Three bombs. Oh no. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, almost got brutally murdered by running straight into a horrible threat. It's not even selling anything good. Three bombs means life is ass. I hate this man. That is just awful. What? The arrow trap wasn't triggered, you absolute moron! Tunnel vision. What an awful case of tunnel vision. Another daily challenge. Another daily challenge being horribly humiliated. At least Poop Store is not here today. Probably he gets it done later on. <laughs> he don't get treated by the uh, incredible domination of Poop Store today. <laughs> That is the entirety of my thoughts about that situation. It was absolutely terrible. The daily challenge situation is insane. That entire arc of clickbait is over. It run, it, it got old for me. I was going to do it until it got old for me and it did. And then I stopped doing it. Was it effective form of mockery? A lot of people in the, in the comments seem to interpret it like, oh, I have just changed my philosophy. I have joined the dark side now. <laughs> it's like, come on, bro. Come on, bruh! I mean, the people I got clickbaited, obviously, didn't know any better. Uh, I mean, they give me a few chuckles, but... I don't know why I'm throwing this instead of, uh... Just bypassing this crate that was super not worth it. But it got... it just got old. It just got old. I, I thought that I would actually keep it going a little bit longer, but... It just felt kind of silly. I'm struggling. Not to find the words, but to, to be able to breathe. There's like a burp stuck in my gullet, you know? You know those one of, one of those instances where you are trying to speak, but there's a little bit of gas. It's just not enough to push up the tr the, the esophagus. So, man, the great bonanza here is out of control. The crazy situation is insane. Let's just get the hell out of here. Move on. Maybe one day I'm going to get to hell, even though I live in hell every day of my life, because I need to... Oh man, he's not caring. Oh, but these climbing gloves are 
our murder. There you go. That means I will not touch those, those climbing gloves when I do this, right? Whoa. There you go. A nice little bit of murder to spice up the day. Huh. There you go. There you go. It's like acquiring back back to the sleep apnea. What you thought I was done with this incredibly boring subject? I'm going to give you the entirety of my crisis. Because, you know, it's even though the subject is, oh, sleep apnea, what an incredibly riveting topic. It's not about the sleep apnea. It's about getting that permanent debuff that kind of made me feel old in a very sincere way. I've been growing old, obviously. But there's a lot of issues when you're getting older that you can delude yourself. The irony being that sleep apnea is not even attached or, or you know, it's not uh, caused by age. But for some reason, it is the thing that triggered my feeling oldness. Yep. Because in life, every five years or so, you get a debuff. And it's just a permanent debuff that now you have to deal with. Oh, I guess my knees hurt now. Oh, I guess my back is worse now. Oh, I guess uh, uh, now I get acid reflux for no reason, even though I used to be able to gobble down the chili peppers like they were cotton candy. But no, now I have to be real careful with the spice I eat. Oh, uh, it hurts a lot coming out the other end, so I can no longer eat spicy food unless I want to go through a one-hour ordeal in the toilet. It is, you know, the terrible developments, debuffs that you get every five years or so. When you get older, it accelerates. The You get far more rolls in that debuff table. And it's never positive. <laughs> you never get a positive debuff. A positive uh, roll on that table is all negatives as you carry on with life. And uh, you can roll the same thing several times. I have stacked at least five back debuffs by now. I think it maxes out at 10. I'm at level 5 right now, which is bad, but, you know, not... I, I live with it. It's not too bad. I'll take it. As opposed to other much more awful conditions, I'm still with the delusion that, you know, my, my health is pretty decent. It's just having a bad back, but boy, uh, I've gone to the point where just... Uh, something as simple as running is I'll do it, but it will give me pause. It's like that is maybe a little too high impact for you Maybe you just want to do a, a gentle jog <laughs> It's like uh, I can still do it, but there may come a point that you'll regret it in a couple weeks It's a uh, it's a rough situation. It's a rough situation the aging situation. It's sad Um. Uh, but with all those things, you can mostly keep the delusion that, oh, it's just temporary. I'll get better. <laughs> I'll get better. Sleep apnea is just a thing that your body is built for, and it just doesn't get better. You now sleep with that machine. If you don't sleep with a machine, you just go back to not being able to breathe for minutes at a time. And, you know, that is something that I've lived with, and it has a whole bunch of side effects. Here, it's the upshot the machine really does solve it in theory. I've not had it on yet. I have not slept with it. I'm going to give it an honest try because another part of it is, you know, I, I don't imagine how I'm going to sleep comfortably with this freaking thing in my face all night long, but uh, testimonials say that you just get used to it and then you sleep so, so, so much better when you have that permanent airflow in your face. But this is another thing that uh, was bothering me a bajillion, a bajillion times in my head. Anyway, I'm getting at, I'm getting at, is that unlike, you cannot delude yourself. And it just uh, bummed me out. Uh, that's the, the, the long and short of it. It bummed me out and I needed a full day of like ruminating, thinking about things. I'm... I'm moderately proud. I think I have touched upon this a couple times before. Moderately proud of the fact that I'm fairly introspective dude. I can have a problem 
And if I think about it long enough, I will actually sort it out and just deal with it. I feel fairly fortunate that my brain allows me to do that instead of just crippling me with anxiety and stuff like that, you know? Um, I, I can, like, see a, a something that is bothering me, notice that it's bothering me, and start asking myself, why? Why is it bothering you this much? Come on, work it out, and just kind of just get to the bottom of the bottom of that entire line of reasoning and that's what i'm giving you right now like the conclusion being like stop taking yourself so seriously so what just be glad you have a solution at the tip of your fingers it was easily diagnosed your problem and uh the treatment is very clear cut there is some surgery that you can get i was pretty much dissu dissuaded from it by the doctor saying you can not get it i won't stop you from getting it but data shows he has maybe about a 50 percent 50 percent success rate in the sense of solving the problem and you know 50 50 is decent odds uh and then he had, it does have risk for complications they basically scrape the back of your throat to create a bigger airway so you know it can get funky back there if you are unlucky and it's like if my condition is not it, it can be easily treated by this thing i'm obviously going to give it a, a good honest college try and if it turns out that i really cannot sleep with a freaking mask oh, <laughs> still have me. <laughs> somehow uh, oh i had immunity i have immunity from the fall <laughs> <laughs> trying to find a damsel is all I'm trying to say here. Try, trying to do here. That's why I'm still hanging around this place of doom. But uh, if it exists in the level, probably was at the very beginning. And I never, never internalized where the hell uh, it's supposed to be. Anyway, let's get out of here. Carrying on with life. It was just uh, for all you youngsters, that's what you got to look forward to. Not just the age-related debuffs and all the things that you're gonna have to just live with it and deal with it's just the way it is that's how aging and getting older works but it's not about that i think the more important part is the psychological aspect of it don't let things bum you out obviously you know you have a problem i have so many ropes I, I i don't know where they they came from but i'm glad that i have them let's make better use of them instead of just being so stingy with my climbing gloves uh, just keep the right attitude and just have the courage of going inside yourself and asking yourself what is your problem and, and working through it and you know ha try to have perspective that is one of the things that will help you so much in life. Just keeping a wide perspective on your life. Get out of your own head. Try to see the wide range of human experience. And realize you probably have it so much better than your average human out there. I mean, unless you have a horrendous crippling condition that makes you suffer every day of your life then you're probably one of the unlucky ones <laughs> but uh, for the most part if you're watching this video you probably have it so much better than 99 percent of humans in history and humans existing right now you have the luxury of sitting at home taking a poop watching some video game gameplay while a middle-aged middle-class citizen of the United States tells you all about his insight in the aging experience. Some of you may call me a boomer for broaching this subject, but come on, man. I've been here since 2013. That's when the first video was uploaded, I believe. It's been over 10 years of YouTube. You, Some of you fellas, and it always weirds me out, the truth of it, how... Some of you guys have actually grown up listening to me ramble. <laughs> it's so bizarre to, to have that concept of there's here's this guy that found me when they were 12 years old, 
they watched the Spelunky 101 tutorial and they decided to stick around because they found the Spelunky boy funny and entertaining. And now they're 22, 23 year old people with their own opinions on politics and life in general. And they say, hey, Blargo, been watching you. I grew up with you since I was 12 years old. Keep up the good work. Nobody says that anymore. I used to make fun of people saying that all the time. Keep up the good work. That was like the... Oops. Like the thing to say. Back in the 2010s. Keep up the good work. When you were pleased with somebody's output. I have never... I have not seen that phrase in a good... I don't know, five years? It's so weird how it's something... Like, it's not a meme. You know, it's not a meme that falls out of style. It is not any turn of phrase that gets old in any uh, strange capacity. I didn't make fun of it because it was so overused. But you would think that it would have just stuck around. Just people giving you good wishes and appreciating your work. Keep up the good work. But no, people just not say that anymore. They just don't say it anymore. It's just bizarre. It's like a, a version of the ever-evolving vernacular of the youth. Do you remember on fleek? That was the thing that people said for like t three months. Most of this slang has become ultra cringe in record time though. It just gets memalized and overused to complete obliteration. So the evolution, I don't know when I got all these bombs, buddy, but I am glad that I did. Same thing with the ropes that I said earlier. Here. Let me get out of here. We got our unk. We are well on our way. Don't forget the suicidal attempt. The suicidal tendencies of Paco need to be indulged. I often try to get out of his bleak mindset, but no, today we are indulging it 100%. Can't believe Cali hasn't been around to please me, though. Truly upsetting. Anyway, there's no reason why I'm <laughs> murdering all these things. I will use my bomb surplus to murder this guy, though, because it amuses me. Holy crap, he almost exploded me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you absolute ass. The exit lays beneath my feet. All right, here we go. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Recently put a poll up asking people... And if you haven't seen it, go into my community tab and answer the poll, please. I like it a lot when you answer my poll. It is weird. I'm going into the tangent before I even uh, cover the entire point that I was trying to say. It's strange how YouTube poll, uh, uh, YouTube pushes polls so much. It wears me out a little bit. How a picture post in the community tab will be 100% ignored. A link, a, a regular old ass community uh, post will get maybe 10 views. You post a poll. I got like 400 votes in the first day. I mean, it's not like I get any kind of remuneration from <laughs> posting a community post. But it's strange how polls are just always uh, pull way, way ahead of any other community tab. Because people love pushing a button and seeing what their opinion is compared to others. That is the entirety of it. So they see a poll, like, I'm going to vote. But anyway, I put a poll in the community tab asking, basically, do you know about my writing? Have you read? If you know about it, have you read it? If you don't know about it, well, here it is. That's, that was basically the entirety of the poll. And it was actually insightful market research. The shopkeeper should be there, right? Now. There's no reason for him not to be there. Check out this incredible flight of the bomb. It's a, it's a two-step process. There you go. Explode, bitch! This pleases me. Uh, Moahead. The Moahead was there. I saw it. <laughs> you thought that I was about to just leave. But no. No, sorry. We're going to go kill ourselves in a very stylish manner. Um, 
What was I saying? And the results of the poll were actually quite surprising. I, you know, I mention it very, very often, or often enough, in my main audience outlet, which is the Spelunky videos. And I thought for sure there will be hardly anybody that says that they have never heard of my writing. There's not going to be hardly anyone that responds that. Oh, but that responds that. Twenty percent of the people that respond is like, I had no idea you were a writer. Where is your writing? Let me check it out. 20%. That is a non-insignificant amount of people that that poll reached that had no idea that I am, in fact, a very dedicated novelist. I will call it my vocation. I do enjoy creating art on the internet of all sorts. If I had to pick one thing that I could dedicate the rest of my life to, it would be just writing. Holy crap. I absolutely, absolutely love it. It is extremely satisfying in every, like, every step of the process. Even, like, my, of course, the least favorite part of writing is the self-publishing of it. Why am I going this way? <laughs> this is uh, a bad idea. Check out the flight of this, of this bomb. Uh, eventually, we're gonna, it's going to go exactly where I want it, okay? Okay, they are not working out. Please. Hey, that's the one that I, that's the explosion I wanted. But let's not be retarded and <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 baby. <laughs> let's not be stupid. Use a rope. Go over right here. This man. Let me throw a dog at him. <laughs> he did. Let me just get. Whoa! Uh, there was no ground. My shotgun is gone. We don't need it. We're just going to go through the exit. And now we're going to the mothership. Or we must destroy this filthy aliens. Carry on with the plasma cannon. But for sure I will reach that. Yeah. Come on, that's totally reachable. Just going to go in there anyway. I have a pile of explosives. Why would I care? And then the other surprising result was people saying, yeah, I know you're a writer, but I don't, you know, it's not my thing. I tried to make it not guilt trippy, not judgmental, because you know it's just the reality of things. A lot of you guys are in for the, the spelunkings and the video game playing in general, reviews now and then. You know my typical fuckery, and you really have no interest in reading a, a novel that I wrote. Why would you if you're not into reading at all, or you're not into the genre, whatever, whatever. It, it just you know reading fantasy novels of the highest quality. It's not everybody's thing. It actually surprised me how low the percentage was. Only 57% of you guys was like, eh, it's not my thing, sorry. And uh, I expected that to be 70%. Around 70%. The proportion of people that were like, eh, this is not my thing, sorry, buddy. Uh, but it was only 57%. Which gives me hope! <laughs> All my... My lofty ambitions are not falling on deaf ears. Like, we're using a couple of ropes here because... We don't even have freaking... Spring shoes, bud. This is just atrocious. And this approach... <laughs> Ooh! This approach is just a nightmare. <laughs> Get rid of this damn... All these damn aliens are gonna, gonna come into the border with uh, M16, start mowing them down. Damn aliens, taking my germs! Taking black jobs and Hispanic jobs. Open this up. Give me that. We're going to approach this from this side. I see you're very violent, lady. Woo! <laughs> don't, 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 don't do it! There you go. <laughs> gonna, gonna work at it a little bit. No, no, no! Oh, it's not. It is going off. I got lucky there. Got slightly lucky there. Let me put a rope here and make the makes the navigation here a little bit more, more doable. Okay, one gigantic threat has been dealt with. Huh. 
Just give me time, give me time, I'm cooking! That's another expression that has been why, way too over... Holy crap, already? Way overused. Everybody's cooking now. It's like, oh, come on. You're going to wear it out. It, it was a really good one. You're going to wear it out so hard, nobody's going to say that in a matter of months. And it's a tragedy, because it's a good one. wonder if it will reach, like, full... It will reach full... Full... Popular vernacular, something like cool or dude. That is that is just never going out of style. Well, I mean, in a hundred years it might. People may not say dude ever again at any point in about a hundred years. But it ain't going nowhere for the time being, right? Maybe cooking will be kind of the same. I doubt it, though. It's a little niche. And feels like it has maybe a lifespan of... Maybe six more months. In six month, more months, people will say see it as passe, as saying that someone be cooking, let him cook, that kind of thing. It already, just by me saying it, is getting really old. So you know, I don't have high hopes for this expression. I don't know if you can tell. I almost did it. I almost shot put myself in the belly of the beast. Whoa! Well, that was a complete waste of my parachute. You know, very valuable piece of equipment. I, I just want to get the shopkeeper dead. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Why is this so freaking hard? None of these explosions! There you go. Let's reach the damn shopkeeper. Here you are. Give me that money. I don't think I can reach that without using a rope. Actually, I could have just used the plasma cannon and, and jump up there. Anyway, I went into a tangent of a tangent of a tangent, and I have no idea where I started. I think I was talking about really awful slang that has an extremely short shelf life. Just trying to uh, work out this level. I had to, you know, dedicate 100% of my processing power for a moment there. There you go. Definitely something that will evaporate, especially now that the boomers are onto it. Skibbity toilet Ohio Phantom Tax, all that stuff is going to vanish in record time, shall be replaced by new, even weirder brain rot. Like, it evolves, it's probably already have been replaced. All the level 100 Gyatris parodies that you see on the internet, that's already all hat. Right now, there's a Gen Alpha kid talking all about their, their incredible chromulence. Chromulence is going to become a giant thing. Chromulent this, chromulent that, in the middle of Phoenix. The Ohio shall be replaced with other locations. They will go a little nerdy and start... Ooh. Let me get rid of this. Niche and obscure nerdy. They're going to start talking about Ansalon. Getting phantom taxed in Ansalon and not really phantom tax though. Skibbity is here to stay though. It will be used ironically, but it will be used. Because it's such a gigantic sensation, almost died again. This is just uh, the fact that Kali never showed up. Anyway, I'm I'm speaking out of turn. My apologies for my boomerisms. Even attempting to predict what youth slang is going to be like. That is basically trying to predict the stock market. Unless your name is Nancy Pelosi, you are completely out of work, out of, out of luck. To be able to predict the stock market, you just need to be a congressman. That is the only way that you can do it. It is quite magical, actually. It's, it's really impressive. Their savvy investment strategies. It truly is a thing of thing of beauty. The way that they can predict the way the black market, the, the black market indeed, is going to behave. Truly uh, savvy investors. Anyway, let me get rid of this. 
grab me this scepter. This run has been ass. Has <laughs> had just no. Re this is triggered for sure. Yeah, no resources whatsoever. I, I mean, nicely stocked with bombs and ropes. That's about it. That's the extent of it. Okay, we can just run through. Well, that was uh, fast and furious. Shopkeeper getting pissed! Probably by a uh, ticket trap right next to it. Whoa! Let me just get rid of those nuisances. Uh, trigger? Yeah. Exit that way. Mark is right there. Entrance to Black Mark. <laughs> I keep saying Black Market. Uh, entrance to City of Gold must be found. What is going on here? Whoa. No City of Gold down here. It's just a complete dead end. What a freaking depressing level here. Definitely want to get marked through the exit. Get myself... Get myself a nice shotgun. I thought for sure he'd be dead. <laughs> well, that's a that's a tragedy and a half. He's kind of stuck there. This should work. Hmm. I should have delayed that way more. That was kind of dumb. Oh, come on. You weren't supposed to move. <laughs> we have 22 bombs. We can spare a few. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. I hate you a million times. Do one of these. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go back for Mark because I want a wet, sloppy kiss in my mouth. No homo, though. No homo. No homo, Mark. I'm all about your saliva entering my trachea, but no homo. It's just a business transaction, okay? I could suck your dick and it wouldn't be gay. Let's get out of here. I finally made it. One step closer to getting to hell. Still not a thing, though. Still gotta get there. I deserve this crate. So not worth it. Really should go out of my way to save Andrew over there. I really just don't care about his life or my life total. I am invincible. I'm an all-powerful. Paco Espelanco, I will not be brought low by some silly ass. Uh, I'll put a bomb here. By some silly ass uh, danger in my path? No. Nothing shall touch me. Anubis 2 gets schooled in the ways of swallowing lead. Is there lead in nowadays ammunition? Feels like there's no lead in there anymore. It's just a very old expression of, oh, I filled him up with lead. But that's like a Old West kind of thing where bullets were literally made out of lead. Nowadays, they are just this alloy full of uh, sawdust and nitroglycerin. And there's zero lead content. There's no cordite there. Cordite is another typical thing to say about gunpowder and the smell of gunpowder. There's no cordite unless you go back. Whoa! <laughs> unless you go back to World War One or something like that. I'm leaving, buddy. I'm leaving. Got ourselves a book. Got ourselves our City of Gold experience. Hell is only... One effective kill of Olmec away. Still just with flaming gloves. Making it work. Please give me some good stuff at the top of this level. I will be very salty if you don't. What What is this, buddy? <laughs> it's a freaking nightmare. I already had one of those. Let me go to the other side. Hopefully, it will be easier to get to the top. Uh, oh. 
Gimme. Welcome, welcome addition to my arsenal. Spring shoes will go pretty hard though. It will be so welcome to get anything other than basic inventory. Well, that, this is not one of those seeds, I guess. Just be glad you have climbing gloves, peasant. Or next game, I'll just take them all away. And you'll be stuck on baseline low percent equipment. Not even a single crate being found. We have no munching on this side, which is good because it means that I can get a little bit of distance on this scum lord. This is a good spot. I don't think that reaches all the way to the bottom. And let's put... Let's make sure that the sides get destroyed as well. I've been destroyed many, many times before because Olmec just so happens to slide right into the shaft and uh, not stomp at the very end. Very upsetting development when that happens. Get me through, baby. Used to the Spelunky 2 Olmec where it takes forever to be able to go through the exit. Here, you better go through in the first second or you will be dearly, dearly sorry. I don't want to... Oh, that's right. It exploded on contact, huh? I had no memory of that. But of course it does. I was going to just jump and hope for the best. That is foolishness, though. Ah! This is just a nightmare. <laughs> this is a, a full-fledged awful nightmare. Freddy Krueger is about to slip right out of this ball and chain. Please do not throw it at my head. Don't throw it at my head! Okay, good. Good stuff. Pretty sure I've told you how Nightmare on Elm Street fully traumatized me as a kid. This was a real, actual problem up until I was like 13 or so. Decided to face the dark because I was like, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I'm a, I'm a teenage boy still afraid of the dark. This is pathetic. So one night, walked out into the dark hallway and just stood there, stoically facing the darkness. And nothing happened! And that was my, the beginning of my just getting over that entire thing. I would just, like, do the typical kid thing of hiding under the covers and that would, would keep me safe. The monsters can't get under the covers. It's a, it's a well-known fact of life that if you put your hand under the covers, you are 100% safe. Can I, they can't just get through that barrier. There's, it's like a psychological threshold. You think it's, it's a meme, but no. It's a psychological threshold for the monsters that they cannot breach. I did that clear until I was like 13, brother. <laughs> just, just looking out, being afraid. It was my great, great shame. Truly pathetic. I blame my aunt and uncle. They allowed that to happen. I was literally six years old. I think it was maybe seven. I think I, th I was about seven years old. And they let me watch Nightmare on Elm Street and I just traumatized the shit out of me. <laughs> it was just awful. You watch it now and it's like the cheesiest garbage. You know, the, those old horror movies. You may still get jump scared and intimidated at some visceral level, but you can 100% see it for what it is. As a kid, it was just reality. It was so weird. It's so strange how you, uh, the difference in the perception of the world, uh, everything, like reality is just different as a child. It's not just a matter of, uh, uh, ah, oh. Oh, 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 baby! <laughs> it's under control. Oh, yo. <laughs> I just want to kill the bat. <laughs> All under control. You thought it was over, but no. We've only just begun. Actually, no, we're, we're almost at the end. But I, I needed to do a little bit of contrast there with a the turn of phrase, so that's what came out. <laughs> Please. Get me out of this hell! This literal Splunky hell experience. Actually, it's been pretty easy until just that moment right there of horrible panic. Oopla. 
you have a bone marrow sucking monster right there. Not even going to look at her. Actually, she ain't. She's the real deal. She is an honest to goodness condemned soul. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Honest to goodness condemned soul. Put a bomb here. We're going to get her to the exit. Her eternal torment needs to be ended. She's gonna make it. She's gonna make it. You and I, Jacqueline. We're going to be successful in getting out of here. That was a weird jump. What the hell am I doing? Anyway, I lied. I just wanted you to, to be impaled in a in a humorous manner. Don't worry. The demons will bring you back to life very soon. Whoop. Woo! Okay. And you can suffer all over again for eternity. You're stuck here. I am leaving. But you, you are stuck here. We come back to Yama. We're going to be fancy. I'm not going to shoot him from a rope. Who the hell do you think I am? Some kind of coward? No. We're going to go all the way to his face. And we're going to plant 27, 27 bombs right up to his cheek. And we'll whisper sweet nothing into his ear. I'll be like, I like the shape of your yacht. You have a level 100 yacht, Riz. Yama, please take me to Ohio. Where we can be phantom tax together. Is it old yet? Is it stupid yet? <laughs> Let me know. Let me know. When he has thoroughly disgusted you. I'm going to get rid of this. Kabumo? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh-oh. <laughs> no one no one could have predicted the suicidal vampire vassals <laughs> that took the hit for him those bombs were meant for the boss but like the secret service they swarmed around Yama took those explosives to the chin destroy my ass what a Ah, chef's kiss ending. See you on the next one.